our safety regulations. Northrop brothers aren't the only drivers of the strip, you know. Maybe Lisa's name will be Northrop before too long, right, Jeff? <laughs> We're working on it. That finishes another day's racing. Well, that's it for today. Yeah, these meets are always over too quick. Yeah, but with your heavy foot, the guy would think you were trying to race your way to Indianapolis in the 500. We're working on that, too. You guys got more plans than an architect. Spectators for their fine cooperation. Take it easy going home. Play it safe on the road. Same as we do here on the strip. Hey, here's Lisa. Great going, Lisa. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, that other guy got nothing but exhaust poison. Pretty fair for a stock job. Now, there's the compliment I was waiting for. Now, don't mind him. He's on cloud nine. And why not? A new track record. And I was just getting started. Now, if I had another mile... You'd really have seen something. A quarter mile drag strip is putting the crimp on our champ style. Oh, you just get flying and boom, the finish line clips your wings. That's the idea. Okay, I know. Slow and easy, easy and slow. Just remember it. Yes, sir. This has really been your day. Two of your cars, tops in their class. Oh, not my cars. Who are you kidding? This here rod would never have revved up the way it did if you hadn't doped out a new combination on these four barrel pots. And uh, what about the porting on my motor? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. You two drive them, and I'll try to keep them running. And Northrop Monopoly. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta! -ta 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 -ta.
Can I come into the winner's circle? Clam up, you squares. It's the law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, huh? Hi, Ben. Congratulations. What do you say, Steve? Ben? Hey, sir. Hi, Ben. Okay. Nice going. This was the best meet yet. And the biggest. We had a real jam in the inspection line. Yeah, and did you get a load of all those stock car cowboys? Now, be generous, Steve. We can't all own hot rods like yours. I'll try and get some more volunteers for the inspection line. We're growing so fast, I can't keep up. In spite of the city council and the other sawheads who are trying to stop us, huh? Which reminds me, I've got a date with the captain. You are still riding about us and the strip? Let's say the captain is uh, slow to surrender a dearly held prejudice. I'll see you later. And take it easy going home. Sure. sure. So long, Ben. So long, Ben. Bye. You caught up in heading for yo-yos? OK. How about you, Steve? Gee, I'd, I'd like to. But every time I come to the strip, Aunt Sarah puts a stopwatch on me. I can see her now sitting at the window, biting her nails. Ah, oh, come on. So it'll be another half hour. Besides, she's got long nails. <laughs> <laughs> Will you square it with her? Aunt Sarah stops me, kid. Boy. Well, I'd be glad that I'm old enough to move in with you. She's strictly horse and buggy. She doesn't dig hot rods at all. Give her time, Steve. She's young. <laughs> see you at yo-yos. So long. Hey, Jeff. How about riding with me? There's a ping I want you to catch. Can you spare him, Lisa? But be careful with him. We guarantee safe delivery. See you, yo -yo. You can talk all day, Ben. I've seen too much of him. You know, I've handled this accident investigation in detail a good many years. It's hard for me to believe that we're going to stop teenage violations by encouraging hot rodders. If you'd only come out to this strip with me, Captain, get to know these kids. No, oh, thanks. That's your headache. We're drawing in more kids every weekend. Now, more kids on the drag strip means fewer on the streets. All right, you've got your chance. Personally, I can't buy it, but I'm not going to stand in your way. Yeah, I know. And I appreciate it. You've been under plenty of pressure. Pressure? Some of the calls I get must melt the relays. Close the strips. Confiscate all hot rods. Fire that crackpot Ben Merrill. Like a broken record. <laughs> no. But teaching those solid, loudmouth citizens to respect the hot rodders who are law-abiding is rougher than educating kids. I don't hear it. It's nowhere at this speed. If I could open it up. Next time we're at the strip. You know, there's never time enough to do what you really want. You're doing OK. Well, that'll make Aunt Sarah very happy. She gave me a special trophy room in the ash can. <laughs> Believe me, Jeff, living with her is like driving with your brakes on. Just a few more years to wait. Wait. Slow down. Stop. That's the story of my life. Kid, your fuel mix is too rich. Ease it off, huh? Smart, let him go. 